Once upon a time in a far-off land, there was a group of monks who were renowned for their wisdom and deep understanding of the world. They lived a simple life, freed from material possessions and distractions, and dedicated their lives to the pursuit of inner peace and enlightenment. One day a young monk named Tenzin approached the elder monks with a problem he had been struggling to sleep well at night, plagued by restless thoughts and worries that kept him awake. No matter how much he tried to clear his mind, he found himself tossing and turning until the early hours of the morning. The elder monks listened to Tenzin's concerns and took him under their wing, determined to help him find a solution to his sleepless nights. They led him to a quiet corner of the monastery where they sat together in silence and contemplation. As they said, one of the elder monks spoke up. Tenzin, the problem is not with your mind, but with your heart. You are carrying a burden that is weighing you down and keeping you from finding the peace you seek. Tenzin was taken aback by this unsure of what his heart could possibly be burdened with, but the elder monk continued, You have been holding on to a grudge, a resentment towards someone who has wronged you in the past. It is this anchor and bitterness that is keeping you from finding true rest. Tenzin thought about this for a moment and realized that the elder monk was right. He had been holding on to a grudge towards an old friend who had betrayed him years ago and had never truly forgiven them. The mocks then began to tell Tens in a parable, one that had been passed down through the generations of their order. Once, there was a farmer who owned a small plot of land one day. He discovered that his neighbor had stolen a single ear of corn from his. Fields the farmer was so angry that he decided to sue his neighbor in court. Months went by and the case dragged on and on. The farmer became so consumed with anger and bitterness towards his neighborhood that he could no longer sleep at night. He tossed and turned, unable to let go of his resentment. Finally, the day of the trial arrived. The farmer presented his case before the judge, but before the judge could even make a ruling, he was interrupted by the farmer's neighbor. I am sorry for what I have done, the neighbor said. I had no right to take that ear of corn from your fields. Please forgive me. The farmer was taken aback by this, realizing that he had been holding on to his anger for so long that he had forgotten the value of forgiveness. He dropped the case and forgave his neighbor, and from that, that day on, he slept soundly and peacefully. Once again, the elder monks finished their parable and turned to Tenzin, urging him to let go of his anger and bitterness towards his old friend. Forgiveness is the key to finding inner peace and rest. They said Tenzin took their words to heart and began to meditate on the power of forgiveness. Gradually, he was able to let go of his resentment and forgive his old friend, and as he did so, he found that his nights were once again filled with deep, restful sleep. In conclusion, the parable of the farmer and his neighbor teaches us that the power of forgiveness is the key to finding inner peace and rest. It reminds us that letting go of our anchor and bitterness towards others is not only a gift we give to them, but a gift we give to ourselves, to sleep. Well, we must cultivate a mindset of forgiveness and letting go. We should avoid holding on to grudges or unresolved conflicts, as these can weigh heavily on our minds and keep us from finding restful sleep instead. We should strive to practice forgiveness and compassion towards ourselves and others, letting go of negativity and embracing positivity. Some tips to cultivate this mindset include practicing mindfulness, meditation, journaling about your feelings and thoughts, and focusing on positive affirmations before bed. You can also try creating a peaceful and comfortable sleep environment, developing a consistent sleep routine, and avoiding stimulating activities or foods before bed. Remember, finding restful sleep is not just a physical necessity but a spiritual one as well. By cultivating a mindset of forgiveness and peace, we can achieve not only a good night's sleep, but a more fulfilled and meaningful life.